Let's start in child's pose. Sit on your heels, big toes touch, separate your knees wide and fold forward till your forehead is relaxed on the ground. Stretch your arms over your head and rest your palms on the floor. We're gonna do some deep breathing together. We will inhale through the nose, count to five, hold it at the top and then open our mouth wide and exhale to the count of five. <sighs> Close your mouth. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four, five. Hold it, open your mouth wide, exhale, five. <sighs> Empty your lungs completely. Close your mouth. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it at the top. Exhale with your mouth open. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale nose. One, two, three, four, Five, hold it, exhale mouth, five, four, three, two, one. Now from now on, close your mouth and just breathe through your nose and prepare to come to tabletop. So wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Look down, engage your core. We're going to do some cat-cow breathing together. Inhale, arch back, look up, tailbone up, count to five, exhale, round your spine like an angry cat looking at your navel, tailbone down, inhale, arching back, vertebra by vertebra, looking up, exhale, rounding down, tailbone down, Look at your navel, stomach in, rounding down. Inhale, look up, arch back. Look up all the way. Exhale, round down. Tailbone under. Inhale, arching back. Three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arch back one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, round down like an angry cat. Three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. And come back to a neutral spine. Engage your core. Inhale, stretch up your right leg, stretch it back and circle your ankle in one direction and then in the other direction, flexing and pointing your foot. Now stop in the center, engage your core, inhale, stretch your left arm forward, looking down. Inhale, stretch both leg and arm, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch leg and arm. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch leg and arm. Exhale, once more, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch leg and arm. Exhale, take your left arm to the side. Bend your right knee, grab your foot and kick up with your right foot, looking up, energizing your spine. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale, release, come back to neutral spine and let's do the other side, engage your core, inhale, left leg back, again circle at your ankle, circle your foot in one direction and then the other direction, flex and point your foot, looking down. Now point your foot, stop in the middle and stretch your right arm forward. Inhale, stretch them both, exhale, elbow to knee. 
inhale stretch exhale elbow to knee inhale stretch exhale elbow to knee inhale stretch and take your right arm to the side bend your left leg grab your foot and kick up with your foot looking up warming up the spine breathe and release come back to neutral spine and prepare for your first downward dog so tuck your toes under index fingers pointing forward and push it up to downward dog let's take some breaths here to warm up to the posture so make sure both palms are firmly pressed on the floor your arms are straight your back is straight your legs are straight now take one heel down bend the other knee and then change sides take one heel down the other one up and change sides continue to breathe keep changing sides warming up your legs keep changing stretching one side and then the other stop in the middle take both heels up inhale exhale bend your knees inhale stretch up your legs exhale heels down inhale heels up exhale bend your knees inhale stretch up your legs exhale heels down once more inhale heels up exhale bend your knees inhale straighten your legs exhale heels down now very slowly walk to the front of your mat separate your feet hip distance and fold forward so you can have a micro bend in your knees you don't have to have your legs straight grab opposite elbows and sway from side to side to the left to the right don't forget to keep breathing keep this connection to your breath now interlock your fingers behind your head and feel your head as a very loose weight continue to sway side to side you can either stay with your hands there or grab opposite elbows again stop in the center and release both hands down now place the left hand in between your big toes bend your left knee deeply and take your right arm up to the sky open up your chest look up now wrap it around and aim to grab your left thigh still looking up opening up your chest and your heart inhale stretch up exhale change sides so right hand down bend your right knee deeply and take your left arm up high to the sky wrap it around aim to grab your right thigh inhale stretch up exhale release your hand down both hands down fold forward now take both feet together to touch and fold forward on an exhale inhale look up flat back exhale fold forward inhale come up all the way palms touch look up arch back exhale fold forward hands down inhale look up flat back exhale fold forward inhale come up all the way take your arms high palms touch arch back exhale fold forward inhale look up flat back exhale fold forward inhale take it up high all the way palms touch arch back exhale fold forward 
Inhale, look up. Exhale, walk to the back of your mat and come to plank pose. So stomach in, thighs engaged, every single muscle is completely engaged. Your wrists are under your shoulders. Core is completely tight. Inhale, exhale, bend your knees, take your chest down and come to lay flat on your belly. And now peel yourself up with the help of your hands and your arms to your first resistance point, Cobra. Breathe here. And with every exhalation, try to open up your spine a little bit more. So come to the second resistance point and breathe there. Looking up. Come as high as you can and then turn your head to the right look over your right shoulder feel the stretch enjoy it come back to center inhale turn your head to the left look over your left shoulder breathe here back to center and then tuck your toes under and come back to downward dog and let's prepare for a couple of vinyasas. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, legs off the floor. Exhale, downward dog. Let's do it once more. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a deep inhale, deep exhale, let it go. Inhale, right leg up high, stretch it up as much as you can. Open it up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, left leg up high, stretch it up. Straighten it as much as you can. Breathe. Exhale, take it back down. Inhale, right leg up high. Bend your knee, open your pelvis to the right. Open it up as much as you can. Enjoy the stretch. Breathe. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, take it back down. Inhale, left leg up high. Bend your knee, open your pelvis, open your hips to the left. Enjoy the stretch, breathe, inhale, straighten your leg, exhale, take it back down, inhale, right leg up high, flex your foot. This time, make sure your pelvis, your hips are as square as possible, exhale, take it back down, inhale, change sides, left leg up, square your hips, flex your foot. Exhale, take it back down. Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, swing it through. And let's stay in runner's lunge. So left heel is up and left thigh is completely engaged. So left leg is straight. Now from here, take both hands to the left side of your right foot and walk your right foot to the right, to the edge of your mat. Make sure your left leg is still straight and breathe deeply. You can either stay still or you can pulse it to allow your pelvis to open up gently. When you're ready, stop in the middle, go back to runner's lunge, left heel down and come up to warrior one. So square your hips to the front 90 degree angle on your front leg stomach in open up your chest take your hands up high look up exhale hands down inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog let's prepare for the other side inhale left leg up high exhale swing it through runner's lunge right heel up right leg straight 
deep breath in deep breath out from here take both hands to the right of your left foot walk your left foot to the edge of your mat and enjoy a deeper stretch continue breathing remember you can pulse it or you can stay still now take both hands to the original position right heel down and come up to warrior one so bend your front knee deeply at 90 degrees square your hips right leg is strong and straight stomach is in take your hands up high arms high open up your shoulders inhale exhale hands down inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog inhale right leg up high exhale bend your knee open up your hips to the right inhale take it up high exhale swing it through left heel down inhale warrior one breathe in warrior one inhale exhale inhale exhale opening up warrior two keeping your deep bend in the front leg back leg completely straight looking forward arms parallel to the floor stomach in inhale exhale windmill your arms down inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog inhale left leg up high exhale bend your knee open your hips inhale straighten your leg exhale swing it through right heel down inhale warrior one deep bend in your front knee open up your chest square your hips to the front look up exhale opening up warrior two arms parallel to the floor stomach in right leg is straight and strong opening up your pelvis look to the front over your left index finger inhale exhale windmill your arms down inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog inhale right leg up high exhale bend your knee open up your hips inhale straighten it up exhale swing it through left heel down inhale warrior one we've been here before so try to bend it a little deeper this time looking up breathe inhale exhale opening up warrior two again let's try to go a little deeper this time opening up the pelvis warming up the legs inhale push it forward exhale reverse warrior left hand down resting on your thigh right hand up high open up look up reverse warrior arch back inhale exhale windmill your arms down inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog let's prepare for the other side inhale left leg up high exhale bend your knee open up your hips inhale straighten it up exhale prepare to come to warrior one inhale up warrior one here we go so front knee completely bent at 90 degrees exhale opening up warrior two look to the front open up your hips right leg straight and strong inhale push it to the front exhale reverse your warrior arching back enjoying the stretch looking up resting your right hand on your right thigh inhale exhale windmill your arms inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog inhale 
Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, bend your knee. Open up your hips. Inhale, straighten it up. Exhale, swing it through. Keep your left heel up. Inhale, come up to crescent lunge. So again, deep bend in your front knee, but keep your back leg completely straight and engaged. Inhale, tilt forward. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. 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 Exhale, arms down. And place them both on the floor. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up high. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, straighten it up. Exhale, swing it through. Keep your right heel up. Inhale, coming up to crescent lunge. So right leg is completely engaged. Hips are squared to the front. Inhale, come to the diagonal. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, come up, diagonal. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, swing it through, left heel down. Inhale, coming up, warrior one. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Opening up. Inhale, push it forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, right palm down and take your left arm by your ear. Straight line from your heel to your fingertips. Look up. Now from here, we will do this motion again several times. So inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Extended side angle. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Warrior two, extended side angle. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Warrior two, extended side angle. And then both hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's prepare for the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, straighten it up. Exhale, swing it through, right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale. Inhale, opening up, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, push it forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Breathe here. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. So left palm down, right arm up next to your ear, looking up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Warrior two, extended side angle. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Warrior two, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. 
Now both hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let it all go. Take five long, deep breaths. On your next inhalation, bend your knees and jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stretch up all the way, palms touch. Exhale, hands into prayer in front of your chest. Close your eyes. Just notice how you feel. Anything you notice, just observe it and let it go. Close your eyes, deep breath in, deep breath out. When you're ready, relax your arms down. Start engaging your thighs, your glutes, stomach in. Inhale, take both arms up, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. Elbows completely straight. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, push your hips to the right and then slowly start bending to the left in a completely straight line. Take two deep breaths and continue pushing and bending a little bit further. When you're done, inhale, come up, stretch in the center, exhale, bend to the other side. Push your hips to the left and start bending to the right side in a completely straight line and for two deep breaths you bend deeper inhale come up to center exhale release your arms by your sides now separate your feet hip distance feet parallel fold forward and place the hands under your feet with the palms of your hands against the soles of your feet, so palms facing up. Relax your head down, fold forward and let your arms loose and bend to the sides like gorilla arms. Now slightly tilt your weight a little bit forward towards your toes. Breathe in, breathe out, let it all go. Release your hands, separate your feet a little bit more, have them facing outwards. Bend your knees deeply and place your elbows against your inner thighs, against your knees, so that you keep your knees separated. Place your hands into prayer and close your eyes. Open up your heart. With every inhalation, you grow a little bit taller. With every exhalation, you push with your elbows against your knees to open them up wider. Opening up your hips and your heart. Now place both hands on the floor, separate your feet even wider and rotate them inwards facing each other. Now place your hands further away from you as if you were doing a downward dog with your legs really wide open. And enjoy this stretch. Now from here, rotate your feet outward and bend your knees deep. Stretch your back as much as you can. Open up your shoulders and your heart. From here, straighten your right leg. Bend your left knee deeply and take your body weight to the left.
center and change sides. So bend your right knee deeply, straighten your left leg. Slowly back to center. Now walk your feet a little bit closer, still facing outwards. Bend your knees deeply and come up. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, take your hands into prayer in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Inhale, straighten up your legs and take your arms up to the sky. Open up your hands. Exhale, deep bend in your knees. Take your arms down. Inhale, straighten your legs, arms high. Exhale, bend your knees, arms down. Inhale, straighten your legs, arms high. Exhale, bend your knees, arms down. Inhale, straighten, arms up. Exhale, deep bend, arms down. Inhale, straighten, arms up. Exhale, deep bend arms down and from here sway from side to side balancing your weight and shifting your weight from side to side take your hands into prayer and close your eyes keep pulsing and shifting your weight from one side to the other side you can continue pulsing or you can stay still from here straighten your legs Take your feet parallel and swan dive down. Place your hands on the floor far away from you. Again as if you're doing a downward dog with your legs wide open. Feel the stretch. Deep inhalation, long exhalation. Now slowly come back to the front of your mat and take a downward dog with your feet separated hip distance inhale exhale inhale right leg up high exhale swing it through left heel down inhale warrior one exhale opening up warrior two Inhale, push it forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill your arms, elbow against knee. Left arm high, looking up. Open up your chest. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle. So right palm down, left arm by your left ear. Inhale here, exhale, take both hands down, spin up your heel and rotate it to the other side. So right arm high to the sky, looking up. Left leg straight and strong. Now wrap it around, open up your heart to the sky. Inhale, right arm up high, exhale, both hands down, come onto your elbows and wrap your right arm around your right leg humble warrior head down now both hands down come back to extended side angle this time with your left arm straight up to the sky open it up you can either stay here or wrap it around you can also bind your hands together looking up opening your heart to the sky inhale spin up your back heel exhale runner's lunge inhale hands into prayer exhale rotated prayer twist elbow against knee open up your heart to the sky you can either stay here or open up your arms inhale back to center Exhale, hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, swing it through, right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. 
Exhale, opening up, warrior two. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, push it forward, exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill your arms, elbow against knee. Open up your right arm to the sky, look up. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle. So left palm down, right arm next to your right ear. Inhale, exhale, both hands down, spin your back heel, rotate to the left. Arm up high to the sky. Inhale, exhale, wrap it around. Opening up your heart to the sky. Look up. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, both hands down. Come onto your elbows. Wrap your left arm around your left leg. Head down. Right leg stays straight. Both hands down. Right heel down. Come back to extended side angle. This time with your right arm straight up to the ceiling. Look up. You can either stay here or wrap it. Looking up. Opening up your chest to the sky, inhale back to center, spin up your back heel, hands into prayer, inhale, exhale, rotated prayer twist, elbow against knee, use it as your lever to open up your chest to the sky. You can either stay here or open up your hands, inhale back to center. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let it all go. Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hips. Inhale, straighten it up. Exhale, swing it through, left heel down. Inhale, coming up to warrior one. Exhale. Inhale, opening up to warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, straighten up both legs. Take your feet parallel and even looking inward. And then swan dive down with a very straight back. Grab your feet from the sides, stepping on all five fingers, and then pull. Pull so that one day the top of your head is in contact with the floor. Keep your legs straight and your quads engaged, stomach in. Now preparing to come up, hands to hips, stomach in and with a very straight spine come up all the way and go back to warrior two. Inhale, exhale, hands down and prepare for side plank. So right wrist under your shoulder, feet together, stomach in, contract your thighs and keep your legs together. Left hand up high, look up, stomach in, core engaged. Inhale high, exhale both hands down and then stay in plank pose for five breaths. Stomach in, core completely engaged. Inhale up high, exhale chaturanga. Inhale upward dog, exhale downward dog. Inhale left leg up high, exhale bend your knee, open your hips. Inhale straighten it up, exhale swing it through, right heel down. Inhale come up to warrior one. Breathe. Open it up, exhale warrior two. Now once more straighten your front leg, feet parallel, interlace your hands, your fingers behind you, inhale stretch up, exhale swan dive down, opening your shoulders as you fold forward. So here with every exhalation you push your hands further away from you, opening up your shoulders, stomach in, quads completely engaged. 
Now preparing to come up, come up to center, airplane wings, right hand down, left hand up high, twist it to the left. Open up your heart to the sky. Inhale up high, exhale, wrap it around with your left hand. Inhale up high, exhale back to center, replace your left hand down, right hand up high. Looking up, opening your heart to the ceiling. Inhale there, exhale, wrap it around, aim to grab your left thigh. Inhale, exhale, take it back high, back to airplane wings, hands to hips, inhale, come up all the way, back to warrior two. Windmill your arms, both hands down, come to plank and prepare for side plank. So left hand down, right hand up high. Core engaged, looking up, wrists aligned with your shoulders. Inhale up high, exhale both hands down and let's stay in plank again for 5 breaths. Core is completely engaged, stomach in, thighs engaged. Inhale high, exhale chaturanga, inhale upward dog, exhale downward dog. Take some breaths here to recenter, refocus. Let everything go. Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hips. Inhale, straighten it up. Exhale, swing it through, left heel down. Inhale, coming up, warrior one. Inhale, exhale, opening up, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, sit a little lower. Now straighten your front leg, walk with your back foot a little closer, push your body to the front and then rotate your arms into Trikonasana, triangle. Thighs are engaged, right hand is down either on your shin or on your foot or you can have your hand flat on the mat next to your right foot. Inhale, exhale, wrap it around. Looking up, opening your heart to the sky. Inhale, left arm back to the sky. Exhale, take it to the diagonal by your left ear. Look up. Inhale here, exhale, both hands down. Walk your back foot a little closer to your front foot. Then recenter your hips square to the front and melt down, placing your forehead on your knee. Both hands either flat on the floor or touching the floor, whatever you can. From here, let's prepare for revolve triangle. So left hand down, right arm up to the sky, right hand up. Looking up, opening up the chest to the sky. Wrap it around, aim to grab your left thigh. Inhale, arm up, exhale, both hands down. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Breathe. Inhale, left leg up high, exhale, bend your knee, open up your hips to the left. Inhale, straighten up your leg, exhale, swing it through, right heel down. Inhale, come up to warrior one. Exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, exhale, sit a little lower. Now straighten your front leg, walk with your back foot a little closer. 
Push your body to the front and then rotate your arms into Trikonasana triangle. Once again, your left hand can be either on your shin or on your foot or next to your front foot. Inhale, exhale, wrap it around. Looking up, opening your heart to the sky. Inhale, right arm high to the sky. Exhale, take it to the diagonal by your left ear. Look up. Inhale here, exhale, both hands down. Walk your back foot a little closer to your front foot. Then recenter your hips square to the front and melt down, placing your forehead on your knee. Both hands either flat on the floor or touching the floor, whatever you can. And now let's prepare for revolve triangle on the other side. Right hand down, left hand up. You can have your right hand either by your foot or on your foot, opening up your heart to the sky. Inhale, arm up higher, exhale, wrap it around, aiming to grab your right thigh. Inhale, arm up, exhale, both hands down. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Breathe. And now let's prepare for some hip opening. Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hips. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, swing it through. Relax your left knee on the floor. Make sure your hips are square to the front of your mat. From here, place both hands on top of your right thigh. Breathe. With every exhalation, you let go a little bit more. Just surrender to the posture. Now both hands down and let's prepare for half splits. So strain your front leg, foot is flexed, make sure both hips are still square. And then from here, round down your spine and make sure you have contact of forehead to knee. You can rest your palms by your sides on the floor. Really important here to have both hips really square to the front of your mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Now release and prepare for pigeon. So back leg is straight, front leg is bent. You can have your foot either closer to your hip if you're newer to the practice or you can have your shin parallel to the front of the mat if you want more challenge. Now from here, square your hips to the front of the mat and melt forward. So fold forward till you have contact of forehead to the floor. And then stretch your arms forward and palms flat on the floor. And then here, this is a posture where gravity does the work. The only thing you have to do is surrender. You will notice that your left hip wants to go up, so try to push it down and counterbalance to make sure both hips are square. Now slowly walk with your hands to the left to intensify the stretch. Deep breaths. Very gently walk back with your hands. When you're all the way up, bring your front foot closer to your left hip. Square your hips to the front. Right hand down, flat on the mat. Bend your left leg and grab your foot. Pull the foot closer to you, feeling a deep stretch in your left quad. Release and now very slowly and gently make your way back to downward dog. 
Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up high. Exhale, bend your knee. Open up your hips. Inhale, straighten it up. Exhale, swing it through. Now relax the right knee on the floor. Again, square your hips to the front of your mat and relax your hands on your left thigh. Breathe deeply. Now place both hands down and prepare for half splits. Front leg straight, flex your foot, make sure your hips are still square to the front of the mat and then round down your spine, placing your forehead on your knee. Stomach is in. Now release and prepare for pigeon on the other side. So here really try to replicate whatever you did on the other side. So if you had your foot closer to your hip, do so this time. And if you had your shin rather parallel to the front of the mat, do so. Once you're ready, then fold forward, melting down until your forehead is on the floor. Now relax your hands out in front of you. And surrender to the posture. Make sure every exhalation is a little longer than the previous one letting it all go now gently walk with your hands a little bit to the right and again place your forehead on the floor Surrender to the posture. Let the gravity open up your hips. The only thing you have to do is breathe and allow for things to happen. Very gently walk back with your hands and place your foot closer to your right hip. Recenter. Left hand down flat on the floor. Bend your right leg. And with your right hand, grab your foot and pull it to you. Feel the intensity of the stretch on your right thigh. Release both hands down on the floor and very slowly make your way back to downward dog. Inhale plank, exhale chaturanga. Inhale upward dog, exhale downward dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now place both knees down and come to sitting position. From here, come to lay on your back. Bend both knees, feet parallel and spines completely flat on the floor. And place your hands on your belly. Now from here, suck your belly button as much as you can as if you're wearing a very very tight belt continue breathing through your nose make sure you're not holding your breath the only thing that's holding is your belly completely compact from here take both legs up and place both hands flat on the floor by your sides very slowly with your thighs contracted lower your legs to midpoint 45 degrees and now lower them down to 30 degrees stomach is in look at your feet flex your feet and now pulse it pulse it up and down stomach completely contracted Breathe, don't forget to breathe. Now when you're ready, bend your knees and pull your knees to your chest. Now interlace your hands behind your head, open up your elbows to the sides and prepare for yogi bicycle. 
so stomach's completely in, you breathe in the center, you breathe out to the sides, as quick or as low as you want it. Every time you bend to the sides, you breathe out. So it's a quick breath if you're moving quickly. When you're ready, stop in the center, hug your knees to your chest and slowly sway from side to side, massaging your kidneys, massaging your lower back, relaxing your abdominal wall. Now place your feet down, make sure you can touch your feet with your hands. And now let's take bridge pose, so very gently peel your body up until your hips are as high as you can. Interlace your hands and keep your arms flat on the floor, opening up your shoulders, your heart, your pelvis, your hips to the sky. Breathe here and very gently come back down. Now you can do another round of bridge or if it's in your practice, you can do wheel next time. If you do so, place your hands by your ears facing back and very slowly push up to wheel. Make sure your feet are parallel and your thighs and your glutes are strongly engaged. Now from here you can come to your tiptoes or you can stay with your feet flat on the floor. Very gently release, bend your knees, bend your elbows and then from here pull your knees to your chest and sway from side to side, massaging your back let it all go. Now grab the back of your thighs and rock back and forth three times till you come to sitting position. And from here come to lay on your belly. Palms are flat on the floor by your chest so if you would take your shoulders down all the way you would touch your fingernails. Now from here glutes are engaged, thighs are completely engaged, feet are together and peel your upper body up a little bit. So you're coming up only with back strength. This is called Cobra Pose. Your hands are just there for balance, but all the strength is being done with the back muscles. When you're ready, come back down gently. Look to the right, left ear on the floor, and then relax your arms by your sides. Close your eyes. Let it all go. Breathe in, breathe out. Chin out. Take your arms to the sides like airplane wings. And come up as much as you can. So pull your upper body and your legs up as much as you can. Again, glutes are completely contracted thighs are engaged, feet are pointed backwards, looking up and then release. Look to the left, right ear on the floor. Once more let it all go, so maximum effort during postures and maximum relaxation in between, so you can take all the benefits from these postures. Chin out, interlace your fingers behind you. Arms are completely straight, away from you. Inhale, everything comes up. So legs are up, chest is up, hands are up high, opening up your chest and your shoulders. Glutes are completely engaged. Inhale high once more, exhale, relax all the way down. Once more, look to the right side, relax your hands by your sides, close your eyes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Take this space in between postures as your meditation. So don't try to anticipate what's coming next, just be in the here and now. Listening to your breath. 
chin out, bend both legs and grab your feet from the sides. Make sure you have a good grip. Start with your knees together. Now inhale, kick up with your legs. You'll feel that your chest opens up by this effect. And then when you're up, you can look up. Keep kicking with your legs and roll your weight to the soft part of your belly. Make sure your knees are not separating more than hip distance. Kick up and then release. And now push back all the way to child's pose. We've been in this posture before at the beginning of the session, so feel how different it is to be back now. How different your body is, how different your mind is right now. Just observe these differences. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and gently walk to the front of your mat and prepare for fix firm. So knees together, sit in between your heels. Make sure there's connection between your heels and your hips. If this is too hard, you can separate your knees a little bit. If your butt doesn't touch the floor, just stay here. And if it touches and you wanna move forward, then you can place your elbows on the floor, one elbow at a time, and then you can come to lay down completely. Arms over your head, grab opposite elbows. Close your eyes and breathe here. You can open up your heart to the ceiling, arching back a little bit, but keep your butt and your knees on the floor. If your knees are together, squeeze them tight. If you came down all the way, slowly come back up the same way you went in. So elbow, elbow, hand, hand, and then just come out of the posture. Come to a sitting position with your legs out in front of you. Shake them out. Make sure your blood comes back to normal flow. And if you feel a tingling sensation, it's totally normal. Now from here, one leg out, the other one in, sole of the foot against your inner thigh, inhale stretch up, arms overhead, interlace your hands, exhale fold forward. Your foot is flexed so you're grabbing your foot or if you don't reach your foot you're grabbing your leg. Now here make sure you have contact of forehead to knee, belly in, inhale Exhale. Make sure both shoulders are equally square, so if needed, drop the inner shoulder a little bit down. Release, come back up, and change sides. So the other leg out, bend your knee of your free leg, so of your foot against your inner thigh, flex your foot, Inhale, stretch up, interlace your fingers, exhale, grab your foot or whatever you can of your leg. Contact of forehead to knee, stomach in. So try to replicate whatever you did on the last stretch. Once again, make sure your shoulders are square, so if needed, drop the inner shoulder down. Inhale, come back up and release. Now both feet together, legs together. Recenter and make sure both sitting bones are equally down. Inhale, stretch up, interlace your fingers. Exhale, fold forward with a flat back and grab your big toes with your index and peace fingers and your thumbs. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold forward a little deeper with your spine straight. Once you reach your point of resistance, you can melt down. You can drop your head. Feet are flexed, quads are engaged. With every exhalation, you melt a little bit deeper. With your hands, you pull your head closer to your toes. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale, come back up slowly. Bend both legs and place the soles of your feet together. Now from here, slowly fold forward with a flat back and reach your first point of resistance. Once you're there, very gently melt down. So, if you're flexible enough, you can walk with your hands further away from you, but you don't have to, so you can stay on your elbows or on your hands. If you can, place your forehead, the tip of your nose, and even your chin on the floor. Make sure your knees stay close to the ground. Make sure they don't come up. If they do, you can press down with your elbows. Very gently, walk back up and release. Now open your legs wide, at least 90 degree angle, and flex your feet. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, fold forward once again with a very flat spine. Again, reach your point of resistance, whether it's on your hands or on your elbows or even walking with your hands further away from you. Whatever it is, just reach that point and breathe there. Once you're there, you can melt down and let your head hang heavy. If you can, drop your forehead on the floor, the tip of your nose and even your chin. Spine is as straight as possible. Feet are flexed, thighs are completely engaged. Inhale, slowly come back up. Gently release. Now bend one leg at a 90 degree angle with your foot flex and place the other leg on top also at a 90 degree angle so both legs have a 90 degree angle now inhale stretch up exhale fold forward once again try to fold forward with a flat back when you reach your point of resistance you melt down and here once again let the gravity do its job you just need to surrender to the posture and surrender to this opening at your hip. Slowly come back up and change legs. Again, keeping a 90 degree angle on both legs. So you fold the first leg, then the leg on top with your feet, both feet flexed and then fold forward once more. Make sure both sitting bones are equally pressed down on the floor. Make sure you're well balanced. Once you've reached your point of resistance, you melt down. Hands on the floor or you can be on your elbows. If you can, place your forehead down, resting on the floor. slowly come back up and release and now let's prepare for the last back bend of the session camel so come to stand on your knees separate your knees hip distance and your feet hip distance place your hands behind you like if you're placing them in your pockets of your jeans from here push your hips to the front as much as you can and arch back once you're at your maximum, you can either stay there or take it to the next level, which is one hand to one heel, the other hand to the other heel. Grab your feet really firmly. From here, push your hips to the front and open up your heart to the sky. With every inhalation, you open up your heart a little bit more. With every exhalation, you push your hips further to the front. From here, Come back the same way you went in, really slowly. Place one hand on your kidneys, the other hand on the other side. Come back to standing on your knees, sit on your heels and take child's pose. You can either 
place your hands out in front of you or you can have them relaxing by your sides, palms up. Any emotion that pops up, anything, just let it go. If you're a little dizzy, completely normal, just breathe it out. Take one long breath in and one very long breath out. Now very gently come up to sitting on your heels and tuck your toes under. We're going to stretch the soles of your feet. That gives you an indication of how stressed you are. Place your hands into prayer and close your eyes. No matter how tight the soles of your feet are, just breathe it out. When you're ready, release. Now relax your feet on the floor. Sit on your heels, knees together. Grab your heels from behind. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, round down with your spine till your head touches the floor and your forehead is in contact with your knees. From here, push your hips to the ceiling as much as you can, grabbing your heels really tightly. Stomach in and feel the stretch down your spine. Feel how your vertebrae are separating, how you're creating space between your vertebrae. Inhale, exhale, slowly come back up the same way you went in. Roll yourself back up to sitting on your heels and release. Come to lay on your back, hands by your side. Now from here, bend your legs and let's come to shoulder stand. So take your legs up with your stomach in and place your hands on your back so you can maintain a vertical line from the toes till your shoulders. Stomach is in. Make sure your chin is not completely glued to your chest. Make sure there's a little bit of space. Now from here, you can either cross your feet or you can be completely still. If you choose to cross your feet, you can now change sides looking at your feet. Make sure you don't move your head from side to side in this posture. You can point and flex your toes or you can leave them completely still, either pointing or flexed. From here, let's come into plow. So drop your legs behind you till you touch the floor. Then if needed, walk your feet further away from you. Make sure they are still pointing down. Interlace your fingers and place your hands on the floor so your arms are completely straight on the floor. Stomach is in, legs are straight. Keep breathing. Now you can either stay here or you can bend your knees and take them closer to your ears. You can press your ears tightly with your knees. Your feet are resting on the floor behind your head. Now from here, let's reverse our way. So straighten up your legs, place your hands on your back and one leg at a time, come back to shoulder stand. Feet are pointed up. Stomach is in. Leave a little bit of space between your chin and your chest. And then once more you can point and flex your feet if you wish. Don't forget to breathe. From here, bend both knees, place your knees on your forehead. Now, palms flat on the floor, arms flat on the floor, and then one vertebra at a time, 
release your legs down, coming back to laying down on your back. Now bend your right leg, interlace your fingers at your knee and pull your knee to your right armpit, completely avoiding your rib cage. Make sure your shoulders are square. If your left calf muscle is not in contact with the floor, you can flex your left foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Now from here, pull your knee to the left till you touch the floor. Once you're there, stretch your right arm out to the side with your palm up. Look at your right palm and close your eyes. Supine twist. From now on, whenever you're breathing, send all the air down to your belly, like if you had a balloon in your belly. When you inhale, your belly rises. When you exhale, your belly falls. Now coming back to center, release your right leg, bend your left leg, interlace your fingers at your knee and pull your knee to your left armpit, completely avoiding your rib cage. Make sure both shoulders are square. And again, make sure your right calf muscle is in contact with the floor. If not, flex your right foot. Pull your knee to the right till you touch the floor. Stretch your left arm away from you with your palm up. Look at your left palm and then close your eyes. Remember to breathe at your belly. So with every inhalation, send the air all the way down to your belly and feel your belly expanding. With every exhalation, your belly contracts. slowly back to center, bend both legs, hug your knees to your chest, grabbing opposite elbows, hug them as tight as you can. Make sure your spine is completely flat on the floor and if it's not, with this practice, one day it will be. From here, straighten your legs up to the sky and really slowly take them back down to the floor, very gently with your stomach in. Once you touch the floor, separate your feet wide. Relax your legs completely. Relax your arms by your sides, palms facing up. Make sure your body is straight and completely relaxed. Your eyes are closed. And now really slowly scan your body to make sure every single part of your body is completely loose and relaxed. So that you allow every cell of your body to absorb the benefits of your practice. Take your time and make sure every part of your body is completely still and relaxed. The only thing that's moving is your belly. Remember, it's as if you have a balloon in your belly. So when you inhale, your belly rises. When you exhale, your belly falls. And now I'm going to give you some minutes of silence and stillness so your body, your mind and your soul can absorb the benefits of this practice.
Now very slowly rotate to your right side into fetal position. And take some deep breaths here of confidence, breaths of self-love. When you're ready, with your eyes closed and very slowly, come to meet me in sitting position with your legs crossed, eyes closed and palms facing the ceiling, resting on your thighs. Make sure both sitting bones are equally pressing down, spine is straight, closing your eyes. Take some breaths of gratitude for having dedicated this precious time to your body, to your mind and to your soul. Hope the benefits of your practice help you in your life and the lives of the people around you. Thanks for trusting me to guide you through your practice today. Namaste.